me. So today we're going to be trying their new textbook, right? New mm -hmm. proposed um, textbook, so which is World Tour. So you have chosen here the Philippines. Thank you for, cho for choosing that one. Yep. So before we start this world touring, yeah, mm -hmm. what can you say about Philippines? Because you've been with us here, Native Camp, right? Um, yeah, all over the world, actually. But um, specifically Philippines, what can you say about Philippines? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> 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 I know nothing about the Philippines. <laughs> but you've been with Israel for like for more than years. So anyways, yeah, what can you share? Um, because you have never been to Philippines, but let's just say before and now. Give me one thing that before, uh, I mean like what you thought of before we met or before you get to love Philippines or Philippine teachers, for example. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> You've what? got a very nice answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, anything, anything about Philippines that you could remember. Uh, maybe the sea is beautiful. Uh, well, that was else? before. You mean before? that was before or this for general? Maybe general. Because I actually, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> Because uh, I just <laughs> <laughs> because <We're we're> on. <laughs> okay, and then because I started native camp, so yeah, the teachers are all from the Philippines. <laughs> so how about now? Because you get to know some Filipino teachers, right? So uh, did your uh, I don't know and I don't care change a little bit about Philippines? Yeah. No, I want to go to the Philippines. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would like to hear. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's why I really wanted to, I mean, not really like you know in comparison but um for some reasons, me too, before I went to um Japan, I could have such a thing like, why do I need to go to Japan or what is uh, what is uh, more what is special in Japan? Why do people would love to go to Japan, right? But then when I when I met you here and of course introducing me a little bit of like Japanese stuff, so I was like, uh, okay. So maybe next time we're gonna be talking about more on Japan, right? Yeah, but for now we're gonna be focusing on the Philippines for a while. Right? So thank you so much for somehow changing <laughs> your um, you know, mindset about Philippines. <laughs> Yeah, so this is actually a um, a good break for every one of us, right? Because uh, some other people out there might think about some other, you know, um, unnecessary things about Philippines, but might as well in your class, they would have somehow changed their perception uh, about our country as well, right? So let's start with this one. So we have here some sightseeing spots. Number one in the list is Bohol Island. Yep. So, could you please read with me? So, Bohol Island. Huh? Oh my this God. one. Where? Oh, yeah. Okay. Bohol Island. Yes, that's correct. So, since this is our first lesson for this, how to say this one, uh, world tour textbook. So, the first activity is about Bohol Island, right? So, they have here, um, how to say this one, an audio that I would like to play later. So, I'd like you to please look at the picture. Yeah. So, what can you say about this? Is yeah, it says you've got 30 on? seconds, but I would like you to, you know, explore what more. What is this? Mm, you know. See this one. Yes, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> what is mm. that? A mountain there? Yeah, you can say anything. Uh, what is it? I cannot describe. You can describe first the landscape, which one the... The sky, the, the colors. Sky is blue. <laughs> okay, the sky is blue, and then <laughs> the it's a very difficult white. sentence. <laughs> are you like telling me about a palm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, things are wonderful. <laughs> the trees are green. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what does besides that one? <laughs> Yeah, uh, actually, Bohol Island composed of a lot of hills, right? So we call it chocolate hills. Yeah, so does it really look like chocolate for you? Mm -hmm. 
now, right? So might as well, you are thinking, what is this? Because normally when we think about mountains or hills, definitely it's green, hey. right? Greenish or something like, um, you know, what can you see about, uh, what can you imagine about fields or hills? Nothing, just this one. Just green or which one? Brown. Because this one, brown, hills are brown. This okay. one is totally brown. Hmm. Mm. So as you can see that one, um, there's that's just some mountain. greenish something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's hill. Mm -hmm. mm, a lot of hills. <laughs> as in together. Wow, right? How about you? Would you love to go? Because both of us actually are living up hills, right? So, well, I love hills. It's just that it's very tiring to go up and down, you know, when I go home and I go, go to the office. What about you? If you could live in such beautiful island, what are you gonna do there? Where are they living? <laughs> um, downhill, <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, keep me up here. You know, there are some tourists. Um, a spot. Uh, how to say this one? Bars maybe <laughs> out there. I don't know. But I've never been to Ball. I would love to go there soon, though. Yeah. How about you? <laughs> That's what <laughs> you were imagining. Where they living? <laughs> maybe up in the sky. <laughs> Yeah, it's very cute, right? Mm. Mm. So, what else? What other things can you say about that? Uh, nothing. Just, Just hill? Hills. <laughs> Many hills. You said hills, so it's not a mountain. So. Mm. Yes, yeah, so I'd like you as well to listen to the audio so that both of us could learn somehow about chocolate hills in Bahal Island, right? So, ready? Okay. Okay, in three, two, one. Bohol Island. The main tourist places on Bohol Island are the Tarshir Sanctuary and the Chocolate Hills. The name Chocolate Hills comes from the fact that during the dry season, the green grass turns brown. The Tarshir was at one time in danger of extinction and was protected in Bohol. Yes. So, would you like to listen again, or was it fine for you? Okay, maybe listen again. <laughs> maybe listen again. Okay, I was like, okay, we can go to the uh, questions. So, we need to answer the question? <laughs> yeah, of um... course. So, I hope you could listen carefully. Ready? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> As usual. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> okay, I will play one more time. Ready? Hmm. Yes. Bohol Island. The main tourist places on Bohol Island are the Tarshir Sanctuary and the Chocolate Hills. The name Chocolate Hills comes from the fact that during the dry season, the green grass turns brown. The Tarshir was at one time in danger of extinction and was protected in Bohol. Wow, well, how is it? Much clearer this time? Mm. Yes, okay, so let's try to answer. Please read the directions. Choose your... Choose your answer to the question from A to C. Yes, that's cool. So the question here is, what is the origin of the name Chocolate Hills? Is it A, because it is the birthplace of chocolate? B, because the mountains are the color of chocolate? A letter C, because Tarshir uses chocolate as her staple food? Yeah, we have an answer here. <laughs> <laughs> Before you got the clue, <laughs> you will know what's the clue. <laughs> yeah, the answer is B. Uh, okay, pretend that you didn't see. Uh, B? <laughs> you know, some a little bit, you know, pretension. <laughs> no clue. <laughs> okay, let's read why letter B. So please read the answer because because the mountains are colored of chocolate. Yes, that's correct. So chocolate, right? So the clue here part. So I'd like you to please read with me. Um, this one. The main tourist places on Bohol Island are the Tarshir Sanctuary and the Chocolate Hills. So us with this line here the red line there so please read the main the main tourist, tourist places on bohol island are the tarshir 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 sanctuary and the chocolate hills the name chocolate hills 
comes from the fact that during the dry season, the green grass turns brown. Oh, one more. <laughs> the tarsier was at one. <laughs> the, the tarsier was tarsier was at one time in danger of extinction and was protected in Bahal. Yep. So again, the name chocolate kiosk. Can you imagine how magical it is, right? It's the same as in Japan. So from uh, I think from spring to fall. So there are some trees actually changing its colors as well, right? So same in Bohol. So the hill itself is really changing from grass to chocolate. That was really, really nice. And for me, it's magical because, you know, in my hometown, we don't have this kind of stuff. So um, for me, it's really nice. And have you ever heard that small monkey? Mm -hmm. she? Mm -hmm. No, but I think you made mention that last time. Oh. Just that I don't have that kind of, you know, the very small monkey. Yeah, in the Philippines. Okay, yeah, it has the Japanese and the... explanation here. Oh, Maybe really? That's that. nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <The monkey>. really? <laughs> yeah, the monkey, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, nice one, Japanese. Good <laughs> thing they put. <laughs> okay, but anyways, that uh, that would be all for Bohol Island. So let's go to my favorite island, too. So ready for number two? Okay. Okay, let's start with this. Boracay Island. Please read for me. Boracay Island. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. So, how is Boracay Island, you know, different from Chocolate Hills? This time, what can you say about this? The sky's blue. <laughs> 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 yeah, the sky is more I blue. <laughs> the ocean is blue. Oh, well, it was more blue. <laughs> So the skies, the skies and what? The ocean. The skies and ocean? Mm -hmm. And the ocean, okay. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? The sand is... What color? White? Hmm. No. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So the sand is white. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not really so white. This is... <laughs> But it is, it is wood. But yeah. maybe in the picture, really, it depicts on, you know, the reflection of the nature. But then they call it really like white sand. Mm. Mm. So how about you? Which would you like to go through, for example, a hill or mountainside? Or this time, it's like oceanside or seaside. How about that? Mm, I like the seaside. You like the seaside, oh, mm. you you wanna you wanna turn dark. <laughs> mm, you, <don't> want. <laughs> you wanna turn chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I love oceans. It's just that um, some of my friends were inviting me to go oceans, but well, I'm not afraid to be dark because I'm a Filipino though. But I can I couldn't swim. I cannot <laughs> swim, so I almost you know <laughs> I got drawn when I was younger, so. Well, I'm still a <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I got drowned. So I was really afraid to go through water again. Okay, let's go. How about go. you? Can you swim? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to the... <laughs> you want me to be drowned again? Um, maybe this time I know how to use... What's that? Um, the life jacket. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm afraid to go with you in the ocean, as you knew my fear. So maybe life jacket would do. <laughs> Barring <laughs> would do. <laughs> Barring you can drown, Roger. <laughs> the purpose was gone. <laughs> yeah, but maybe you can teach me how. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, soon. <laughs> okay, well, oh, so let's go and try this audio. Ready? Okay. Hey, listen carefully. Listen. Boracay Island. This island is one of the Philippines' leading marine paradises. The white beaches and shallow waters on the west side of the island are the most popular tourist spots. There are also many activities such as parasailing at sunset. Wow. Much clearer than a while ago. So far, let's listen one more time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's listen one more time. Exactly, why? Because she listened carefully. 
Okay, one more time though, this one. Boracay Island. This island is one of the Philippines' leading marine paradises. The white beaches and shallow waters on the west side of the island are the most popular tourist spots. There are also many activities such as parasailing at sunset. Yes. So ready for the questions? A to C items? Okay. You want to try? I would have the clue first. <laughs> you, huh? You're looking for the clue. <laughs> Where's the clue? Yeah, so again, oh, yeah. Uh, let me read. <laughs> mm. <laughs> have you got? Yes, I opened so the what answer are part. part e and yeah, there's a clue e there. You should not tell people that I opened <laughs> the answer. <laughs> oh, people, people, I didn't open the answer. <laughs> Hey, is what it, is the question? <laughs> I didn't so the question that. is, what are the most popular places in Boracay? A, the view from the guest house on the west side of the island. B, the white beach and shallow water on the west side of the island. And letter C, the lighthouse on the west side of the island. Mm. So okay. what have you read? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is B. <laughs> Oh my, oh my gosh, how did you know that? Yeah, I'm clever. <laughs> Ooh, I like confidence. <laughs> okay, let's try to answer, uh, I mean to read your answer, okay, one more time though. Okay, so it says here that the white beach... And the white beach and shallow water on the west side of the island. Yes, that's correct. So the whole clue that what we have here, I just would like you to read this part because this is also um, not just to learn about world touring and also to uh, for me to segue a bit of your pronunciation, right? So again, this island is... This island is one of the Philippines' leading marine paradises. The white beaches and shallow waters on the west side of the island are most the most popular tourist spots. There are also many activities such as parasailing at sunset. Yes, okay, so I'd like you to please read these words one more time. Say shallow. Shallow. Sh shallow. Shallow. And we we also have here um west 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 activities 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 can you say it again like most popular tourist spots uh, where the most the, the most popular, popular tourist spots tourist spots <laughs> could you say it again <laughs> the most popular tourist spots <laughs> the most popular tourist spots yes that's cool right so we have here also a little bit of discussion yes so i hope that you can share um uh, from our uh, yeah. discussion. Here. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> oh, discussion <laughs> uh, let's go to the next one <laughs> But you get still two minutes and still five minutes, right? So this is for the sake of, you know, some other people out there. So me actually really do love discussion so much, but <laughs> so much, <laughs> so sarcastic, right? So much. <laughs> yeah, but actually, I just would like to hear a little bit of Mia's side about what she has, um, you know, has seen from the two of our tourist spots here right so here number one choose your favorite topic between a and b then talk freely with me so no other mm. teachers here right so again you can choose a or b uh -huh. which one a is are C. there any animals C. A or B. <laughs> you're always choosing the third one <laughs> Hey, so let me read it for everyone to hear. So are there any animals in your country that are endangered? So I'd like you to please explain for that. Or letter B, what activities would you do if you went to the beach in your country? And of course, as well, please tell me. Mm. Yep, so which one? B is easier. <laughs> oh. oh, really? So I may probably have letter A, but okay, let's have B first. Mm. 
because I as uh, so what I've said, I'm not really into beaches, <laughs> but um, I mean, I couldn't swim, right? So I couldn't really think about such <laughs> something activity. What about you? So tell me something about it. Um, so what can we do? Hmm, in Japan, so if you go to beaches or if you go other countries, because you've been abroad, right? So if you haven't um, experienced going through their beaches, just imagination. So what activity would you love to do if you um, could have the chance to go beaches in your country? Um, I come up with the banana boat, you know, the banana pulling, boat. you know. Oh, that's really that's nice. Yeah. Okay, can you tell me more about banana boat? Because we have a lot of bananas, but I don't <laughs> use it as a boat. I use it for my food. I don't know. Food. What do you say? <laughs> I don't know in English. <laughs> the what pulling, is it? Pulling with the jet boat. I don't know the name. How do you call that one? Because I see, that's one reason why I didn't choose letter B. <laughs> I, cannot, I cannot explain it. <laughs> because you know, we have the jet ski, right? But ah, you like the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and is, then pulling like a banana mm -hmm. and we... We got on like the sailing yeah. boat, just a sailing boat, well, maybe. or which one like a sailing boat, but not a jet ski, right? <laughs> I've yeah, never the tried jet it. Ski is in front of the banana boat, and they are pulling mm -hmm. the banana boat. That's so nice, but it's like how to say this one. Um, no, I'm not really familiar about that one because we have the surfing, we also have the wakeboarding, but not wakeboarding, but it's like wakeboarding, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that was a boat side, you know, somewhere. Uh, somehow they're going to pull. I, I'm not sure, but that must be really fun. Who's with you when you went there? Huh? Are you with your friends or which one? Just your imagination. Yeah, <laughs> my imagination. Imagination. <laughs> the imagination is good all the time, no? Even in the ocean, still food. <laughs> Banana, but you could just, I like canyoneering or I like bamboo shoots or I like oh, a banana boat. <laughs> Okay, let me share some for let's read. Are there any animals in your country that are endangered? So, last time was the eagle. As you may have heard, the Philippine eagle. So, mm. I'm not sure if it's still alive know. or whatsoever. So, I've seen that um, in one of the zoos here in Cebu City or in the Philippines. So, that was really nice, eagle. Mm. But they said that was pretty endangered. So, I said, uh, I wish I could be into birds, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I would love to how to say this one. Well, I I ask tiger. You know, when I went to Japan, that was my first time to see the tiger because uh, when I went to Cebu Zoo, they said it was dead. Mm. And we don't have much of those wild animals here because mm. some people said that most Filipinos look like monkeys. Terrible, right? <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah. But well, I love monkey as well. <laughs> they are not endangered though. Yeah, how about you? If you would love to, how to say this one, to go abroad, uh, let's say Philippines, what's the first thing you thought of doing? Uh, don't know. What can we do in the Philippines? Do you want to hike? Do you want to swim? Yeah. Do you want to eat a lot of food? Which one? Mm, maybe fruits? go to the beach. Yeah, no, I don't know, but going to the beach? <laughs> <laughs> You know something. Yeah, but anyways, guys, so those were just two of our tourist spots here in the Philippines. So thank you, Mia, for sharing your ideas with me. Right? Have a good day. Bye. A few moments later. All right, Mia, so we're going to be continuing what we had discussed earlier. So I had to say this one. Um, let's have a little bit of review, okay? So let's have first the places. The first one was um, Bohol Island again. Bahal Island. One more time, Bahal Island. Bahal Island. Yep. And the next one there is Boracay Island. Boracay Island. Boracay Island. Boracay Island. Yes, as you can see, both are Bo Bo <laughs> Island Island, right? It's like Bo Island. <laughs> okay, so this time we're gonna be having our favorite part: food. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys, so both I and me really do love eating, though. So um, let's try to know both about Philippine food because uh, might as well some people are interested. What are the foods that we could eat in the Philippines that might be different from our countries, right? Okay, so the first one here is we're going to be having a matchup. So I'd like you to please read the directions, please. 
Read the explanation about the food and match the pictures. Yes. So despite you know nothing about the pictures here, I'd like you to just really, you know, to like imagine the situation. How does it, uh, you know, I mean, this description, uh, as you can see here. So number one is sinigang. So sinigang, a soup with a sour taste. The main ingredients are shrimp, white fish, pork, chicken, etc., However, vegetables such as tomatoes, onions, and radishes are commonly added. So please read with me. Yeah, this one. Sinigang. Yeah, like gang. Sinigang. A soup with a sour taste. The main ingredients are shrimp, white fish, what, pork chicken etc however vegetables such as tomatoes onions and radishes are commonly added yes so that's number one sinigang number two is repeat um after me so sisig this is from stir fried parts of pig head and chicken liver usually seasoned with onions and chili peppers it is a standard dish served all over the philippines one more time sisig sisig this is made from stir fried parts of pig head and chicken liver usually seasoned with onions and chili peppers it is a standard dish served all over the philippines yes so this is not just cebu this is not just manila so this is all over our country which is philippines right so number three which is everyone's favorite actually so lechon so lechon is low roasted pork which is crispy skin and juicy interior so interior means inside the body of the pig though so it is an essential part of philippine festival festivals mm. real pig okay, history mm. what was it le chon le, le chon le chon a slow roasted pork which has crispy skin and a juicy interior it is an essential part of philippine festivals Yep, so you may as well heard like chicken, right? Roasted chicken. So uh, even us, when we roast something, even the, in the oven, we usually put something inside the chicken. So on the other hand, this is not chicken. This is a pig. So they slowly, uh, how to say this one, kind of like oh. roast it. Yeah, uh, actually, well, for some you know pork lovers i may say pork lovers not pig because i'm one of those pig lovers uh, mm -hmm. i do had i used to have a pet pig so whenever i see lechon it really hurts me though but um upon moving on <laughs> from that pain mm -hmm. so let's say 20 years after i could i could now enjoy pork <laughs> yeah so it's mm -hmm. really yummy though mm. can you can have a try you can eat everything ears of and course nose. not no no um about this um i bet so because mm. there are a lot of people out there actually the first thing that they are after about lechon is actually it's how to say this one um skin the crispy skin because upon you know how do you eat <laughs> oh just you have to cut like chicken like normal chicken yeah. how big just your it part. is how big? um you know there are, there there's a junior or, or pig or uh, before you roast it so small until the biggest you know even like a like a childlike you know childlike um how to say this one um how how tall the kid would be could be the length of this pork the pig one mm, it's really big like a table let's just say a small study table <laughs> yeah i'm not talking about you know this small one like what i'm I'm really holding my laptop right now on but um maybe three-fourths of your dining table how big it is <laughs> really big so it's mm -hmm. suitable for festivals there are a lot of visitors enjoying this one mm -hmm. yeah right so mm, before that inside. one you wanna i want to see inside how it, you want to see inside mm. <laughs> you want to see inside <laughs> What do you even want to see inside? 
It's, <laughs> it's pretty tricky. <laughs> yeah, when we cut it. Uh, you mean the interior? Mm -hmm. Oh, there are a lot of vegetables. Uh, like you can see? put some fruits if you like. Sometimes they put apple. Oh. Uh, what do you mean? So, like, like see the picture see inside. You mean? Um, in the picture, as you can see, it's just a mere how to say this one. Um, you know, outside outside of this pig, right? Um, mm. yeah, could be, but then sometimes different. Yeah, okay, let me show you a little bit of its um, inside, right? So, this one. I'd like you to please open this link. And then, mm. yes, yeah, so as you open that link. So, let me just have a quick, um, how to say this one, sharing to me about Lechan. Okay. So, what do you wow. think about it? Something. Really a lot. Oh, you can see, uh, if you move down. Yes, yes. There are a lot of peppers, vegetables, mm. even fruits if you love. Mm. Wow. A lot. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so if you're a pork lover, mm. how do you call that one in, in Japan? Butta? No, I forgot the name in Okinawa. The oh, pig. in Okinawa, so it's called so common. My... Mm. But mm, only I can see the face. I'm I see. Sure. I, I see. can't remember. So, disclaimer only, guys. So I had to say this one. Um, for I and me, you, uh, even if we do love uh, eating something like this, so this is just to excuse other people right watching right now. Maybe they don't like eating pork or pig as well. So, uh, mm -hmm. this is just um how to say this one. Um, uh, you know, just an introduction of what kind of filipino food you may probably be eating if you visit the philippines right so excuse to those who are vegetarians vegans or whatsoever right mm -hmm. okay so again we have here three so sinigang sisig and lechon number one sinigang what do you think is number one picture a, a b or c b b why so, letter right? b <laughs> Correct. So that is the clue. What the is the answer? Correct. Yay! Here's the answer. <laughs> oh, you found again the answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what about B? Sissy. Uh, what about uh, number two? Sissy. Is letter C. Yes, as usual, right? right? So we've yeah. just been talking about the other one, though. So Sissy. So as you can see, Sissy. Yeah, what can you say about that? How does it uh, look? It looks yummy, though. Mm. Mm. Actually, there are a lot of um, other country people coming here in the Philippines choosing sisig as one of their dishes mm. to be um, their fa uh, favorite one. So, but favorite I don't know ones. the liver. Um. Um, I think you cannot really taste the liver. You could just taste how it was served. It would be served to you. Especially that they put limes on it or lemons as much as they could. It depends on who served, you know, what restaurant, which restaurant to serve you. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I tried sisig, which was chicken. Chicken sisig, but not the liver. It was just, it's meat. So the lean meat. So I really loved it. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't like spicy food as well, but the consistency. Well, the cons consistency. It was just so yummy. That's why, right? And number three, the chan. The last one, A. Yes, the last but not the least, A, right? Okay, so what do you think about the chan, as you can see? Yeah, scary. Scary. <laughs> so that's the first thing, even I. Yeah, yeah. As a Filipino, mm. I may say it's a little bit scary. No, mm. Very scary. So, mm. Mm, but besides, you know, that kind of fear that you have in your mind, what do you imagine about the description a slow roasted pork. Um, do not mm. think about the head, which has no. crispy skin and juicy interior. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> the latter part. Crispy skin and a juicy interior. Maybe it's okay, but I should. <laughs> <laughs> they should. Uh, oh, maybe you know they will just kind of like um removing the pork. Whatever. But actually, the word pork in our minds were really yummy, right? Because we even like hamburger whatsoever. But yeah, just. You know, um, the picture okay. itself. I cannot see the face. Mm -mm. Maybe you could just like this. 
As usual, right? Yeah. I wonder why as well we can do eat chicken with the head. But then why not pork? So huh? maybe it's just With the deep. chicken? You can eat? Which one? The, the head? Chicken. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, we never yeah. knew. In some other countryside. Yeah. Right? So because they even put it like a barbecue. Yeah. They call it like helmet. <laughs> They call helmet. So for you guys in the Philippines watching right now, you call that helmet, right? So on the top of the head, we have even the clothes and everything. So they like it natively. Mm. Yo, but in Japan, you know, in Japan, you do guys eat fresh, you know, fish, raw fish, sushi and sashimi. We don't do that as well. So we have somehow culture shock for that one. That's mm. what we are going to discuss right below later <laughs> oh really we have this yes uh, this <laughs> whenever this <laughs> whenever there's a discussion like <laughs> really it has discussion yes so just um... a little bit only only two minutes though so mm -hmm. um why do you sensei introduce more because this is philippines so i would like to change me use um how mm -hmm. to say this one uh, perception about the Philippines when it comes to food and something like this because she was talking to me as a Filipino she may be culture shock as well ah, right the culture shock one is the egg what was it the balot yeah yeah, yeah the balot one. one right mm. so that would be like a strange one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> even though I'm a Filipino I as well don't eat <laughs> <laughs> I mean they said it's really yum. I am an egg lover I'm an egg lover no doubt and you know, I can eat literally more than a dozen of eggs a day, but not balot. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I cannot imagine. <laughs> yeah, even if you're like, okay, you put some ingredients on it. Please. <laughs> I know. I've smelt it. How it really the smells. Tastes like. Oh, um. How does it taste like? Like I've mentioned, I've never. <laughs> you, you said. Smell? The smell. The oh, smell. smell. It smells like an egg with a sour smell. You know, like, you can mm. have the scent, right? Like, oh, okay. But then um, when I tried it with my friend, she's so enjoying. Uh, you know, for ballet lovers, say hello. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good for your health. For your health. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. It's all yours. <laughs> okay, I mean, you don't. You know, we are not big on it. Sorry, guys. Yeah. But anyways, I would like to ask you two of the discussion parts here. So again, if you were to travel to the Philippines, which would you like to eat the most? Or do you eat rice every day? Because Filipinos do. Mm, which one? D. <laughs> <laughs> e? A while ago, she, this time, the. You know, when you're trying to wait for her answer, she will always answer different ways, you know? <laughs> this is me. If she won't answer that way, uh, she might probably feel different. <laughs> yep, so choose one. Hey, uh, what do you want to eat? Or do you eat rice every day? Mm, B. Maybe. <laughs> I know. I know, right? Because that's the shortest question. <laughs> Do you eat rice every day? Yes or no? No. no? So what do you usually eat um, more Almost every day? All day. Huh? Every day, but not really every day. What do you mean? Because mm, I prefer bread. So I don't eat rice, maybe um, I much. Don't... So I don't eat rice but every eat day. Maybe six you times do. a week, <laughs> but not every day. So what's what's the other one? <laughs> what what happened to the last day? <laughs> six maybe days. eating the spaghetti or ah. just except rice. I just only eat see, the I main dish. <laughs> so I eat <laughs> pasta or bread rather than rather than eating rice. Mm, okay, every day. Okay, can you say it again? I eat pasta or bread rather rather than rather than this one. This week, I eat pasta or bread rather than eating rice every day. Mm, me too. 
but not pasta or bread. Uh, well, I did love, I did. So meaning before, because right before I could have this um, reflux in my body, I really could eat literally two, you know, uh, two plates or bowls or much more than that of rice. But recently, uh, maybe half rice or, you know, a cup of rice is enough for me. So what do I eat? in lieu of that so recently i eat um so me actually is trying to convince me to eat to eat some vegetables so i'm trying because oh, thanks to uh, my friend as well that she's really trying to make my <laughs> life healthier <laughs> yeah right so thanks for that so yeah for me if i were to travel around the philippines which i actually don't do Thanks to my friends who's inviting me, but I don't go anywhere. But I would love to eat something um, more on desserts because I'm not big on sweets. But I would love to try uh, eating um, some delicacies as well, right? Some sweets in the future. So not to mention everything, but sweets. And you guys in the fall can see about those. Yep. So number one of uh, number, I mean one of them would be lechiflin. I love lechiflin though. I want to eat. What it is more. it? Wait. What is it? Yes. So it's a pudding though. Pudding. 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 Mm. Yes. So we call lechiflin. Lechiflin. So everyone knows this lechiflin here in the Philippines. So um, that's really sweet. So I'm not really big on it. But if only I could have more tolerance with dairy milk and everything, I would love to eat lechiflin more. Yep. I love pudding. First yep. time to hear. Okay. Oh, but you know pudding, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Just, just pudding. pudding. <laughs> I think it's a lot of times. Yeah, just pudding. So in the Philippines, just something special about it too. So I like it. Mm. Mm. Yes. And do you have any questions uh, for our food today, our lesson today? Because we're going to be moving forward to the culture. No questions? Nothing. So far? So, no, so wow. far. Wow, genius. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try the last few parts here. A few moments later. So right, all those things that we've discussed about the islands, the Bohol Island and the Boracay Island, and of course our favorite one, the food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so this time we're going to be moving forward to the cultures, right? So could you please read one more time? Cultures. Cultures. Yeah, so we have here the first one, which is the Sinulog Festival. So could you say it again? Sinulog Festival. Sinulog Festival. Yes, that's right. Okay, so Sinulog Festival might as well, guys, if you hear the audio, that would be a little bit different from the Filipino itself. So, of course, they are foreign people, right? It's the same when you say, like, um, ko konnichiwa. How do you say konnichiwa in Japanese? Konnichiwa. The right one? Exactly. So, if I say konnichiwa, so it's not right, guys, right? So, of course, it depends on the country men as well. Right, who's going to speak? But let's try to listen about Sinolog. Ready? Okay. Okay. Listen. Sinolog Festival. The Sinolog Festival is the most famous festival in the Philippines. It is held on the resort island of Cebu. This festival, which celebrates the Christ Child Santo Nino, is held every year on the third Sunday of January. Yes. Okay, so like you said, Sinalag, they're foreigner, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, actually, we don't have that Sinalag, it's Sinulog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like with a facial expression, do Sinulog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm not from Cebu, but I really do love Cebu. How about you? What can you say about this photo? Huh? Mm. Wow. <laughs> Wow, so you heard it right, guys. So there is no such description about this, but wow. <laughs> the triple W O W. <laughs> I'm the O. Oh, like an egg. Well, <laughs> in connection with the favorite food. <laughs> okay, so this time we're going to be having a little activity where we answer whether the following statement is true or false, right? So, Mia, as what you've heard earlier, true or false, the Sinulog Festival, the Sinulog Festival is held in the capital city of Manila. Is it true or false? 
It said Seb, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the answer so, is false. Correct. And then you might as well went to the clue part. <laughs> yeah, I saw <laughs> <As> it. <usual. laughs> do, 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 do. You, you didn't hear this, you should went to the clue part. <laughs> okay, so I'd like you to please have the clue, which is the the, the one you mentioned. Right? It was Cebu. So again, it is held on the resort island of Cebu. This one. Oh, from the second sentence? Uh, yeah, only the part, the one I put in your uh, in your chat box. Okay, it is held on the resort island of Cebu. Cebu. Yeah, so the, uh, Cebu? Like, <laughs> Cebu, so hard, Cebu. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little faster, mm, Cebu. Cebu. Yep, mm, instead of C. Cebu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have here the whole part. Please read with me. The Sinaloa Festival is the most famous festival in the Philippines. It is held on the resort island of Cebu. This festival, which cel which celebrates the Christ Child Santo Nino, is held every year on the third Sunday of January. Please read. The Sinaloa Festival is the most famous festival in the Philippines. It is held on the resort island of Cebu. Cebu? <laughs> this <laughs> festival, which celebrates the Christ Child, Santo, what? Nino. <laughs> Nini. Nini. Ninu. 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 Santo Ninu. Santo Ninu. Yes. Is held every year on the third Sunday of January. Yes, that's cool. So, um, for everyone, guys, so this sounds like a little bit of Spanish, right? Because of our, how to say this one, long before history. So, we call it Santo means the holy, the holy child, for example, for Christians. So, for Christians out there, we probably understand about this one. So, Nino, so there's a tilde on the upper oh, part of N. So it has tilde. Japanese here, Saito yes. Nino. <laughs> but again, Santo. Oh, Santo Nino. It's a Saito Nino. But Saito? Saito? Hmm. Yo, is but it believe Taipei? Me, <laughs> <laughs> believe me, I'm Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> what is she talking about, guys? I'm <laughs> Filipino. Santo. Okay, Santo Nino, right? Santo, yeah. Santo Nino. Is, um, saint. We call it Saint in English, right? Mm. Saint. Yes. Again, Saint. Saint. Yeah, so if you're going to transfer or tr to translate Santo Nino, it's like Saint Nino, the holy kid, right? For Christians, so again, uh, in the U with the Jesus Christ that we have. So again, it's very holy here. So again, Santo Nino. Santo Nino. Yeah, so the pronunciation for that is just like as in Santo Nino. Yeah. Nino. Nino. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, but then how to say this one for those um, very good at typing? Yeah, so there's like a tell down the <laughs> upper part of the end. Okay, so again, that would be for our um, what are the famous festivals here in Cebu City, right? Sinulog mm -hmm. Festival again, Sinulog Festival, Sinulog Festival. Yes, so maybe in the future, if you could visit here in the Philippines, it's really nice to really see Sinolog Festival. But of course, um, you, you guys just need to bring literally water because it'll gonna be a long way to walk, as transportations are really away from those areas. Yes, because um, Sinolog Festival is one of the biggest festivals, not just in Cebu City, not only in the Philippines, but all over the world. So it's really famous. Mm. Yes, so I've never actually attended that because, um, you working? know, I really do love working, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, and I'm not really good at, you know, walking so hard. So maybe I'm going to be collapsing my body <laughs> in the <laughs> middle of the festival so uh, i need someone to be with me but maybe in the future i could attend one not only on tv right? but this is a really amazing festival mm. yep okay but do you have any questions here so far none okay no. so we're gonna be moving uh, more down 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 with our last few parts ethnic groups and languages please read 
ethnic groups and languages. 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 Yes, that's cool. All right, so take a look at the picture. As you can see, it would be different from how the way I dress up myself, right? So what else can you say about this picture? <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> So it's getting shorter, guys. A while ago was wow. This time is oh, oh. Uh, maybe later is ah, eh, he, oh, oh. <laughs> she loves English, guys. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what do you think about how the way they dress up instead of the the word oh and like we from the city and then those people who are tribes, uh, who are under tribes actually. Yes. So. Have you ever thought of like dressing up the way they they do or what? What can you say? Nothing. Mm, isn't <laughs> it? Um, what do you think about Philippines? Hot, cool, warm, or cold? Hot. Hot, right? <laughs> so definitely hot. Philippines But it is looks so hot. looks cold. Mm. He, they are wearing long sleeves. Exactly, because all these people actually living in that place, uh, that place actually is a little bit cool. Mm -hmm. Yes, so people, people out there who live, who live in Baguio City, so Baguio City is like Japan, always cool, mm -hmm. like that. Mm, well, Japan also has four seasons, right? But this one, even with that season, summer season, rainy season, they're just so cool. Yeah, so that's why cherry blossom could grow there. Mm -hmm. So I want to know more about all those things there because I've never been to that kind of ethnic group uh, or whatever uh, people out there. So let's try. Okay? Mm, so, so let's British. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it stands out, and then how to say this one? Um, it represents strawberry. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> like strawberry. Strawberry. Yeah. Yeah, their place actually. Um, Baguio, what uh, does Benguet, guys? If you are familiar with that, right? So if I'm not mistaken, Baguio, Benguet, and all those cool seasoned mm -hmm. places here in the Philippines, they have that kind of dressed up. It's because it's cool and mm -hmm. it's like a strawberry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's hear. Ready? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Listen. Ethnic groups and languages. It is estimated that the number of ethnic groups in the Philippines is around 100 to 200. In all, there are 172 diverse languages spoken in the Philippines, forming a unique culture. Is it clear or one more time? Mm, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> As usual, right? So listen carefully this one. Ethnic groups and languages. It is estimated that the number of ethnic groups in the Philippines is around 100 to 200. In all, there are 172 diverse languages spoken in the Philippines, forming a unique culture. Mm. So, mm, what is ethnic group, by the way? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> So it could be like the race, the nationality, the culture, even the language itself. So it's like just a category of the people there. Like here in the city, of course, uh, we also have different culture, languages, or even, you know, even the people itself. Most probably for those people who are ethnic groups in somewhere suburb or countryside, they have very distinct, how to say this one, um, um, racial, racial, how to say this one, different differences from the city side as well, right? So I love all of them, though. I love knowing other people around the world in the Philippines, but I don't have the chance to go. How about you? If you will be with them, hmm, are you willing to try how the way they talk, how the way they dress up, how the way they eat? What about what? What about them? Maybe one day is okay. <laughs> I can try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool, right? Maybe right after this pandemic as well. So um, we, we could think about rooming around if ever. <laughs> if ever. 
Okay, so true or false me. So there are about 172 languages and more than 500, well, 500 <laughs> ethnic groups in the Philippines. What? A lot. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> mm, so true or false? The answer is false. It says. Yeah. <laughs> it says. <laughs> yeah. You should have like two, 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 two. It says yeah, some some gaps. <laughs> Correct. So the clue part there is this one. So I'd like you to please read with me. So it is estimated that the number of ethnic groups in the Philippines is around hundred two 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 hundred. Exactly. So let's read everything so that everyone could also hear um, the whole part of that clue. So it is estimated, please read. It is estimated that the number of ethnic groups in the Philippines is around 100 to 20, <laughs> 200. In all, there are 172 diverse languages spoken in the Philippines forming a unique culture yes so just to clear out guys for those people who call this or who um says diverse or diverse both are correct okay so yes diverse languages have you ever thought of like why filipino people could really speak different languages why do filipino can grasp easily the other country's language it's because of that we have 170 to imagine diverse languages to speak all over the Philippines with thousands of islands. So you can imagine why we guys are used to different languages. Like me, I can speak different languages, not to mention them, but only basic though, right? But it's really cool. How about you? Yeah, what other languages can you, uh, can you speak other than Japanese? I cannot speak. English. <laughs> uh, so, guys, you cannot hear her speaking English. Definitely. Not English. <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> Japanese. Yeah, I can speak Japanese. <laughs> yes, oh my gosh, that was really clear, guys. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Mia, guys, can speak a little bit of Dutch, which is German, right? Because she's been to New Zealand last time as well. And of course, English. So it's very clear to her accent how the way she talks, right? That's so nice. Yeah, but she's so low-key. Me too. I'm uh, I'm not low-key. I'm a dorky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyways, thanks for that one because we're going to be having a little bit of discussion part here, right? So are you ready for the last few parts here? No. Nope. As usual. <laughs> <laughs> nope. As usual. But this is almost the last few discussions. So I love, or even uh, around there, people would love to know more about your, you know, ideas, view about this country, right? So tell me about interesting festivals uh, in your country, or do you have many languages in your country? Yeah, so people would love to know more. So which one do you like? Uh, I don't know both. <laughs> I think you just said the festival last time. What was that festival that you had? Doll festival, you mean? The mm, girls because festival? okay, so but the it's girls not festival. Interesting. Is it interesting? Mm, maybe you can choose one season and what is that festival? I cannot explain it. <laughs> maybe you could just share what you experience. You know, like um, this coming spring season, right? Um, mm. So what festival do you have there? What do you have? Mm. Spring festival or this winter or summer? What is that? What do you have that you usually celebrate the most? Uh, what is it? I don't know. Winter. What about winter? What festival what? we have? Mm. No don't festival. No. <laughs> Yo, maybe you guys, you out there, maybe you could comment down below if you could have some festivals, right? <laughs> yeah, you could comment down below. What do you mean, chat box? <laughs> okay, spring festival. Let's just say spring festival because it's it going to be approaching, right? So tell me something about spring festival. We don't have it here, despite we do have a lot of, you know, trees around uh... all these. What is a spring and what is that spring festival? What is it? 
I don't know. Mm. You've got cherry blossoms. blossoms. Okay. When is that? I don't know. The spring time? <laughs> <laughs> when the, I mean, when the... <laughs> no, 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 no. What I'm trying to say is, when, when? is that? Uh, when is the the start of a spring well, season? Starting is mm. from this month, March. Uh, March. So spring March starts April, mm. May, and June. Well, <laughs> see, mm. you knew. So the spring season starts when? March. You complete your con uh, sentence. Mm. Spring season starts. <laughs> 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 Guys, she's so cooperative, you know. <laughs> Interactive, all, all the tip. <laughs> all the IV is there. <laughs> Please type in the chat box. <laughs> I will read. <laughs> April and what? <laughs> March, April, or April, or May? May as well, right? Mm. Mm. Or May. Four months. Mm. Oh, four, four months. months. March, April, May. What's the other one? Oh. Hmm? So late February, you mean? Mm, starting from March. Oh, so yeah, spring so season 12 starts. divided by four seasons. Three. <laughs> so three, right? Like... <laughs> and she realized that. Recently. So that's why, lo that's why, guys, we love English because math. Oh my gosh, I love math though. But uh, you know, <laughs> you know, we have four, four, four. But then, how many months? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. okay. So embarrassing. <laughs> Okay, that's why we love English, right? Anyways, this is a world tour, not a mathematics tour. <laughs> yeah, accepted. <laughs> so spring season starts uh, in March because we don't have dates. So in March, April, and May. And May. Can you say it again? Spring season starts in March, April, and May. Yes, but here in the Philippines, it's actually only have two seasons, the wet and dry seasons. Yes, yeah, so most of the time we are in the dry season. Yeah, so we're going to be approaching to summer, guys. It's another 30 degrees up to 50 degrees. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> 50 degrees for some other <gasps> north areas. So sad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, right. But anyways, so uh, now you have one minute to tell the teacher what you remember. The content for today's lessons. You have 30 seconds. That is the last few parts there. But me already answered me a lot or somehow. <laughs> yeah, so for the last talk only. So what can you say about Philippines? Wow, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'd like you to have this one, um, you, know, you know, when you don't have chat box. Could you say one, one last time, it's more fun in the Philippines? Huh? Can you say it again? It's more fun, it's more in, the fun Philippines. in the Philippines. Again, it's more fun in the Philippines. It's more fun in the Philippines. Yeah. Thank you so much for saying that phrase. That was really cool, right? So you guys and everyone there, so is with me. Thank you for listening to this video. See you then. And watching though. <laughs>